Welcome to Data Science Essentials in Python. This book covers most tools that you need to perform simple, intermediate and advanced data experiments, such as extract data from structured and unstructured sources, including the Internet and databases, clean data and organize it into frames, perform exploratory data analysis and construct and validate predictive data models. In this short video, I will show you how to perform simple text sentiment analysis using the tools and techniques described in the book. My favorite Python development environment is Anaconda. I will use modules JSON for parsing JSON files, NLTK for natural language processing, Pandas for data frames, Matplotlib for plotting, and ITER tools for auxiliary data manipulations. I will take the data for the analysis from the Yelp Academic Dataset. The dataset is a collection of JSON files and is available for download from Kaggle. I will use only 10% of all reviews to save time. It is still an impressive collection of 150,000 texts. I assume that a word is positive if it is mostly found in positive reviews and vice versa. The average star rating, therefore, is a measure of the sentimental value of a word. I will lemmatize every word in every review to remove inflectional endings so that cats and cat become the same token. Alternatively, I could have stamped the words to remove some suffixes as well. Function normalize is defined here but will be used later. I will remove all stop words, words that are too frequent to be useful, such as prepositions, unions and articles. The list of standard English stop words is conveniently provided by NLTK, but I convert it to a set to speed up lookups. The next two statements are the workhorses of the script. The first one tokenizes each review, that is, breaks it down to words, discards stop words and pseudo words, such as punctuation, and normalizes the remaining words. The second statement converts the list of lemmas to a pandas data frame, one token and its corresponding star rating per row. A data frame allows me to group rows by any property. I will group them by token names. For each group with good support of more than 100 rows, I will calculate the average star rating. Finally, I will use module matplotlib to plot the mean ratings of the top 10 and bottom 10 tokens. As you can see, it is good when someone listens to you and is passionate about what they do. It is bad when someone is incompetent or disrespectful. I knew about this. Now, thanks to data science, I have a proof. The whole script took fewer than 40 lines of Python code. Welcome to Data Science Essentials in Python.